You're watching the Southland Conference on ESPN3, live from the Merrill Center in Katy, Texas. We've got the 2017 Southland Conference Championship Tournament. Today, the semifinal round. The Mark rebound down to Mullins. She who hesitates usually misses. You just remember that thought in basketball. Good rotation, the drive. Out to profit. No surprise there. First team all conference senior. Oh, again, great rotation for the open look from the corner. This time it's Mullins. That's the thing that I like best about him. Has a great, great care and love for his kids. Oh, nice pass whipped over to the arms of Bodwe, and she does not disappoint. Eight points. Actually, Sandra Rushing isn't resting all her starters for today's game. Profit straight away. They've seen a whole lot of that over the past four years, and Connell is feeling a little jealous. Thought about it. Instead, it's Young. She'll pull those three points right back again. Emma Young, the Maria Griffin. Mamalu has not scored. She's got to find a way. Oh, right on cue, and he shall receive. And with that, Brittany Pomelo hits her 210th career three-pointer. She has the mark all to herself for the Islanders program. I talked to Coach Chadwick before the game. As you see her make this three, she's, she reminds me a lot of Cynthia Cooper. She gets in the gym, and the managers have to say, now, Pomelo. That was all the way back on January 7th. Profit the turnaround. Profit just goes and shoots over a smaller guard. You got 15 seconds, separate the two clocks. Jolivet out of New Iberia, Louisiana. Finds her New Yorker teammate. But Kraut forcing a turnover. Now they're going to have the ball. Momentum's on their side. They're up against a UCA team that for the past two years in Southland Conference play have gone 52 and 8. But all of us out a little bit. Only four losses all year long for UCA. Straight away, open three. Doesn't get much better of an opportunity than that for Brianna Mullins. Almost game. And that right there is all that is keeping UCA up right now. I tell you, when you go against zone, Jones, and she's red hot. What a great week it has been ultimately for the Islanders. Last two wins. Ready to count them out almost today. Jordan. A Jordan had a, excuse, she had a slow sign. 34 points the last 48 hours. Jones with a nice screen. And she'll pull the trigger. 13 points for Jones, the senior. Now I've said it again. Profit, little stop and pop. Gets it to drop. So that's not being aware of who Profit is. You've got to know where Profit is. You cannot give her that little basket, little turnaround jump shot. Oh, nice recovery by Profit, almost giving it up. To run their offense. Islanders winner of their last five. Sugar Bears winners of their last 15. And Maggie Profit's a big reason why. Yes, yeah, so and let me tell you why that play worked. ...of the Sugar Bears. Able to dribble out of the turnover there. Jordan's wide open in the post. They finally get it to her. Skip pass into Bodeway, and the drought is over for 23. Bodeway has had a heck of a basketball. Defense, 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 defense. Numbers advantage for the Sugar Bears. Jordan goes back to the line. All oh, the Sugar Bears fans are starting to sense the fact that they'll be able to book that hotel for one more night. Yes, and when you're the number one seed and you, you've been the champ and you come back here, there's a lot of pressure on you as players and as coaches. Now, if you can get this first win under your belt, you got a chance to feel good about yourself for tomorrow afternoon. We are 60 to 44 right now. The Sugar Bears will move on to the championship tomorrow as they will face either the Lamar Cardinals or the Lady Jacks of Stephen F. Austin. They made it to the NCAA tournament last year. They look for the automatic bid, and Bodeway will pad her stats as our Southland Strong player of the game. It's a 15-1 run for UCA to close this one out in style. Congratulations, Southland Conference Coach of the Year, Sandra Rushing, as she has her Sugar Bears right back where they think they belong.